Well then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to a brand new video here on the channel. You're probably wondering to yourself, Matty, where the hell are you? Well, I'm currently in London because today, just over there at Wembley Stadium, it is AEW all in. I'm so excited. I've got the merch on already, the CM Punk shirt. We're meeting a group of people down there, going for some drinks and going to watch the wrestling. Probably going out for a few more drinks afterwards tonight, who knows. In out of London yesterday. I did try to film as much content as I could for the first part of the vlog yesterday. However, there were some issues with the sound, there was something going on outside and it was affecting it. So I'm starting it from this morning. I've just been and had my breakfast. Absolutely bloody gorgeous, mate. I had three plates of it. I'm here till tomorrow. I'm going to try and make the most out of today, waiting for them group of guys to come down, and hopefully we shall be on our way. I just thought to myself, why not vlog the weekend, because you guys would probably enjoy it. So if you do, make sure you drop a like on the video, it would be greatly appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let's get into it. Well, here I am, about to do my best Keith Lemon, because you joined me here in bedroom. So I just thought I'd give you a bit of a room to see what's going on. I mean, you can very much tell that I'm in here because there's some parts of it that are extremely messy. So let's show you the digs for the next two nights. So we're going to start as most normal people do at the front door. And as you come in, you've got not one, but two fancy mirrors. Even though this one is more extremely fancy, because with this one, you get a bloody light. That right there is my MJF scarf, the Burberry style one, which I'm going to wear with pride to Wembley later on. A jacket, which I'm debating on wearing. I don't know if I will, if it's going to stay sunny or not. Into the bathroom. Fairly standard. Bath, shower, sink, bog. All of me little things that I need. Yeah, it's a pretty standard premier in room, I think, but it's it's good enough. I really like it. Please mind my tea from last night. I haven't bloody moved it yet. Tea and coffee in case I'm feeling, you know, that little bit adventurous. Clothes from yesterday, which I need to still pack away. Bin, towel, spare pillows, all fairly bog standard. But just wait till I show you the view from out that window. And there she is, our destination for today. The beautiful Wembley Stadium. Look at that. What a view this is. I have been thinking to myself, maybe I should start doing some more vlogs. So I'm sure you all remember the first day at Six Form 1. It's now deleted off the channel because I've spotted some faults in it. It was my first ever video, there was going to be some faults in editing and there was some, so I thought I'll take that down. It was still one of my highest viewed videos though, so thank you very much for your support on that. This could be something that I delve a lot more of into in the future. I'm going to try and make some more trips, more wrestling shows, independent ones and the bigger ones. Maybe even get to WrestleMania one day, as I said. I can only dream. For now, it's just a case of waiting for the fellow DWO members, that's the name of our wrestling group, to get into London, and then I shall probably be getting an Uber somewhere to go and meet them. Have a few pre-show drinks. I'll catch you when we're there, probably. Situation update. After almost dying getting up the stairs, we're finally here. I'll show you the view. Look at this. Beautiful. Well, that's me, you may know him as Rusev from WWE. Signed the contract to face powerhouse for the next week at All Out. Great crowd reaction for him. Let's see what happens. finally made it back home six and a half hour journey back up from london it's absolutely wiped me out but i figured i needed to finish the video i'm editing this bit from home because a lot of the things that i filmed from then on was just clips of the entrances and stuff i realized halfway through that i probably if i film the actual matches then the AEW copyright police 
are going to come out from my head. I just filmed little clips of the entrances and stuff like that. Just little bits here and there. I'm going to put them all in. But then I'm going to talk to you in between about the context of it, what happened. And at the end, I'm going to give you my opinions on the show as well. Saw a few clips there from when MJF and Adam Cole won the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships. Also some other things as well that happened in the Zero Hour pre-show. But yeah, after that it was time for the main card. Here's some more things of what happened. Ladies and gentlemen, this is an official warning that there is extremely terrible singing in the video you're about to watch. Before the show actually started, there was a lot of debate amongst the fans about whether the one and only CM Punk was going to get booed out of the stadium or whether he was going to be met with a hero's welcome and we were all going to sing Court of Personality together. And when the music hit, I mean, the section that myself and Vicky were sat in, there was very much pro-punk. I stood up and I sang loud and proud, as you're about to see. Again, I'm sorry in advance for me thinking that I can sing and then it just sounds like that. This is CM Punk making his way to the ring to face some more jaw for the real world championship. Look at my was just as expected extremely physical extremely brutal two of the best professional wrestlers in the world in my opinion putting on a phenomenal match in the end cm punk did retain the real world championship i'll be interested to see where he goes with this crowd were very very much into that match i loved how it was half punk and half jaw there was a lot of mixed reactions which is something that i really enjoyed but yeah you may notice in these next couple of clips that i moved seats there's a different camera angle that is because Ross, Paul and Neil, fellow members of the DWO, sat on the opposite side to us at Wembley, but they said that there was two spare seats near them. Me and Vicky thought, why not go and join them? So we did. We took the long walk round just as the Blackpool Combat Club were coming out making their entrance. Well, Vicky was very, very upset that she was missing John Moxley's entrance. We went and joined them and we sat with them for the remainder of the show. And you've just heard some terrible singing there for Cult of Personality. I'm afraid it doesn't get any better when Chris Jericho came out with Fozzy to perform Judas on the way to the ring. The warning about terrible singing applies here as well. Here's Chris Jericho and Fozzy making their way to the ring with Chris Jericho performing Judas. Yeah, I would say enjoy this, but you might have to cover your ears at the same time. <laughs> take this time to point out as well that the whole event from start to finish in my opinion was epic i couldn't have asked for much more i loved it personally i've seen a lot of people giving it a bit of stick on twitter and facebook and i'm thinking what the hell are you smoking i loved it and i think the other guys did as well it just shows how passionate us uk fans are about wrestling we all love it and wrestling gets an extremely bad rap i appreciate that people look down on it quite a lot i'm always there to say to people it is good People just have a negative presumption of it. Just get into it. You'll enjoy it. I promise. I'm glad to say there's no more singing involved for the rest of the video. But some great matches after that. I just sat back and watched the event for a bit. The trios match with House of Black and the Acclaimed and Billy Gunn. The Acclaimed and that becoming the new trios champions. A big shout out to the Coffin match as well. With Darby Allen and Sting versus Swerve Strickland and company. That was extremely underrated, actually. That was one of my favourite matches of the night. The standout match for me, I'm going to say this now, match of the night, FTR versus the Young Bucks for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. 
What a match. I've seen some complaints that there was too many false finishes. Just be quiet. It was a hell of a match and everyone loved it. I don't want to keep you here for an awfully long time. Then we got to the big one. The main event. MJF defending the AEW World Championship against his tag team partner, well, tag team champions now, Adam Cole, Bay Bay, to close out the show in what was probably one of the best wrestling matches I have ever seen, and I'm not even exaggerating. You can ask anyone who I was there with, I was literally like MJF's biggest fan for the entire night. I, mean, I wore his bloody scarf to the event, for Christ's sake. What more evidence do you need? The whole story of the friendship between MJF and Adam Cole, was one of them going to turn on the other one? It was, it was gripping, quite frankly. My heart was pounding the entire time. I honestly thought Adam Cole was going to swerve, but he didn't. They're still best friends. Thank God they saved it. As I said, I was literally like MJF's number one fan for that entire night. I just kept shouting, go on, Max. I'm going to be seriously honest. I think that MJF is in the top five best wrestlers in the world right now. No joke, hands down, no questions asked. I love him. I always have done. The commitment that guy has to his character is second to none. And they say kayfabe is a lost art. After a long time with him as a massive heel, it's so refreshing to see him as a babyface, and he's flourishing in that position, and I'm so happy for him. This was my reaction when he came out to do his entrance with his whole devil thing, sat on the throne. It was a great occasion. I was very excited, as you're about to hear. Roll the clip. Come on! twists and turns, MJF returned to the title, thank God, mwah. I walked out of Wembley an extremely happy man. And then, after the show went off the air, they announced that they're doing it all again next year on the same bank holiday weekend in August. So, five minutes after Tony Khan stood in the ring and said that, I went on the Premier Inn website, I booked the same hotel that I was in this weekend. You best believe I'm going back next year. I can't bloody wait. It's just time to save some money now. I'm paying 15 quid for a double rum and coke. I wouldn't recommend it. But yeah, we had an amazing time, all of us. I'm going to insert a picture of all of us now outside of Wembley. That's one of my favourite pictures that we got from the whole weekend. I absolutely loved it. I'm going to try and start doing a lot more videos like this. I'm going to try and get myself to more events, whether that's with the guys or just by myself, because I had a lot of anxiety going into this because I went down by myself, obviously. But once I was there, I was like, this is actually all right. I was going to watch one of my favorite things in the world, wrestling. I was in my element. I was totally fine in the end. But yeah, that is going to be that for this video. Thank you so much for sticking with me all the way through if you've made it this far. If you were at Wembley and you watched All In, let me know your favourite moment down in the comment section below. As always, make sure you drop a like on the video and also please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. It would be greatly appreciated. I would love you forever. Thank you so much for watching yet again. MJF is still the champion. God bless the devil. Not in that way, that's his nickname. That's his nickname in wrestling. God, that sounded a bit mad. But yeah, anyway, have a great day, week, night, whenever you're watching this. And I will catch you all in the next video. Take care, stay safe, and I'll catch you all later. Have a great weekend. Peace.